amidst an era of teeming with razor sharp graphics, captivating character design, and intricate gameplay mechanics, a subtle revival is unfolding in the oft overlooked realm of text based browser games. Revered titles such as Fall in London, Rising, Flight Rising, Torn, and many more have amassed loyal followings, underscoring the timeless allure of this distinctive gaming category. Didn't I not sound fancy? Damn. I th- I'm a little proud of myself. I sound a fancy saying, oft overlooked. Commonly known as browser based games or text based games, these are online gaming experiences that hinge on text narratives, commands, occasionally rudimentary visuals to deliver an engaging interactive escapade. These games function within browsers, uh, which kind of gets rid of the need for 4080s, intense graphics, intense RAM, or elaborate installations. Leveraging the power of narrative, decision making, they are basically choose your own adventures and the occasional strategic element, these games captivate players. A distinct trait of these games exemplified by the likes of Fallen London is the use of an energy system. We've seen this in a lot of mobile games as well that kind of naturally pace the gameplay so you can't rip through 10 years of content in a week, you know? Many of these games offer marathon gaming experiences, clocking in some of them at two, three, four hundred hours, some even longer, largely because most of these have been in operation since the early 2000s, since the dawn of the internet. These longevities translate into years of evolving content and community influence, with updates still being rolled out in a lot of cases. Despite their diversity, text-based browser games share some universal features, irrespective of their content they cover, their nature, what they offer. There's just some universal things, and that is the text interface, which is the primary mode of interaction. It's text-based, it is the description of things you're seeing in front of you, the world around you, description of your characters, and sometimes that can include a little picture of the character or the thing you're looking at, but it's basically painting the image of the game in your mind. There's also the commands which players use to engage with the game can be typed or clicked commands like go north, attack, or use items. There's also the storytelling, and this is the probably the most important part of these games compared to like our our games we play are 3D games because these heavily rely on your brain and narrative storytelling and solid storytelling in because there's no visuals to go along. Or there is visuals, but they're very limited visuals compared to what we would see on our day to day. Now this one is not as common, but it is still a thing in certain games is certain games will have text uh, text based multiplayer capabilities fostering a player interaction allowing alliances to form or pvp engagement. I don't dip into that side, I like a good pve and storytelling so I've never played a game where there is a pvp element. You gotta be asking where is where did these games come from? I've never heard of these games or I thought these games died out. The origins of text based browser games can be traced back to the early days of the internet, even before most of us were born. Uh, They were traced back to the early days of the development of online communities as well. In the 70s and 80s, text-based games like MUDs, which is multi-user dungeons, emerged, providing players a shared virtual space where they could explore puzzles and interact with one another through text commands. These games were often run on university servers or played using Telnet, which I cannot give you a backstory on that. I am sure there is somebody on YouTube that has covered what Telnet was. Over time, the internet has evolved, and so did text-based browser games. Web technologies enabled the creation of more accessible and visually appealing interfaces. Think of the early days of MySpace where you could, and Tumblr, where you could like code your own stuff. That's where this era that these games were kind of born in. Today though, text-based browser games cover a wide range of genres, including RPGs, strategy, simulation games, and more. If you can think of your favorite 3D environment, there's probably a 2D environment for for it. They are appreciated for their accessibility, the emphasis on storytelling, and the ability to provide engaging experiences without requiring extensive system resources or even any money in most cases. While they may not boast edge cutting and generational defining graphics, text-based browser games have a dedicated player base that values their unique charm and gameplay depth. Fall in London, for instance, is a game that I've played on and off throughout the years. It emerged in 2009 as Echo Bazaar, offering a compelling narrative-driven experience that captured imaginations of players worldwide. Flight Rising is a dragon breeding and battling game that followed suit in 2013 
and Torn, a crime-related RPG debuted in 2003, evolving over the years and keeping up with modern gaming sensibilities. Text-based browser games play a significant part in our gaming heritage, even if some of you have never played them or even heard of them. They exemplify a simpler yet deeply engaging style of play that came before today's visually striking games and mechanical, mechanically complex games. These games will hold a special place in many hearts are an, and are important markers of gaming culture, hence efforts have been made to protect these digital gems. However, preservation of these games presents a unique challenge given their scattered distribution, unlike physical games or, you know, well-known titles that are grouped into one bundle, some of these are all over the place. Survival of many of these games has been made possible by preservation in initiatives led by the gaming communities and individual individuals within that community. Now, before I get out of your hair, tell me, have you guys ever played a game like this? Have you ever played any of these? Torn, Light Rising, Fallen London? Have you ever, did you even know text-based things, text-based games were still a thing? Let me know in the comment section below, and maybe I'll look into one of these games more. We'll see. We'll see. But the development teams behind these games are often small, they're passionate groups, dedicated to crafting unique experience, Fail Better Games, who's the studio behind Fallen London, and they've also made standalone games like Sunless Sea, have demonstrated an unwavering commitment to storytelling and world building. Flight Rising benefits from its creativity of its dedicated team at Flight Rising Studios, while Torn thrives under the stewardship of Chedburn, I know I probably said that wrong, Chedburn Networks, with rich narratives, player agency, and passionate development teams that continue to shape the gaming landscape in unexpected and inspiring ways. I truly do recommend at least giving one of these games a try if you are a lore hound, you want a different gaming experience without a barrier for entry, because that seems to be the thing for a lot of games nowadays, is there is some barrier for entry here, as long as you have an internet connection, you're good to go. So I recommend trying these out. Let me know if you want to see more weird topics like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.